Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to sew a utensil holder or pencil holder. You can place your forks, knives, chopsticks or straws and roll it up and place in your bag. So you always have utensils with you when you are traveling. This way you don't have to use those disposable plastics when you are eating out. Or you can use this as a pencil box to hold your markers, pencils, color pencils, or other art supplies. First, I cut two pieces of rectangle fabric. And depends on the size of the utensils you want to carry, you can make this bigger or smaller. And in my case, I have 18 inches by 12 inches. And the first thing I'm going to place these two fabric together with the right side facing and I'm going to sew around the edges on four sides and leaving two or three inches so we can turn over from there. It's very similar to my last project for the lunchbox holder. So I place the pins and I mark the opening area. The exact seam allowance is not as important. You can use half inch or three eighths of an inch. That's about one centimeter. And I like to backstitch at the beginning and the end to make sure it's secure. So after sewing the lines, I will cut off the four corners and then turn it inside out from the opening. And you can poke the corner from inside to keep it sharp. And now we can give it an iron before we continue. Now we have the rectangle piece with finished edge. Now we just place it vertically and place the utensils you have. You can fold up the button piece like that. That's the area with the pocket. And you can fold down the top a little bit. So everything is contained inside. It doesn't fall out easily. And after you iron it, I'm going to sew the opening close. You can just sew this part or sew all the way to the end. After I sew up the opening, I place the whole thing vertically and place down the utensils I want to carry so I can see how far I need this pocket to be and how many pockets I want. And it's the same way on the top, you can fold down a little bit. So it contains whatever you are putting inside and it doesn't fall out easily. So adjust your items and decide how many pockets you want. I'm going to have four pockets. So I saw a line here, here, here. Three lines that makes four pockets because I'm going to finish here, here, here and here, the four edges. But I'm going to start with the center first and I'm going to mark it with a pin. So I place some pin and you can see the finished piece is about 10 inch and about 11 inches wide. Now I'm going to sew a straight line here, here, here to create pockets. And then we'll cut some elastic and sew it on sides before I sew the edges. I decide to sew some small pockets instead of four equal size, so you have more choices. The next thing we have to decide about the closure. I'm going to use elastic. There are many ways to do that. You can just sew a long tie or ribbon. I'm going to use elastic because it takes up less space. And I think most people have elastic around because we are making a lot of masks during this time. So I'm going to sew a loop here and another loop here. So I will have two of them. And how big will it be? I place some of my utensils and try to roll it up. And I will try to see how long it takes to cover the whole circle. And plus the seam allowance you'll be a little bit longer. And because the elastic is stretchy, it's okay to be a little bit shorter because it's stretchy. 
So I probably need around this size. And when I measure it, it's around 8 inches. So I'm going to cut two 8 inch long elastics. So I just place the elastic, sandwich it between the two layers. And I try to keep the distance the same from the top and the bottom. So it looks nicer after it's closed. Now we can try it before we sew it. And we just place this on the top and one in the bottom. That's what it will look like. Now we know it will fit, we can start sewing the elastics and the final edge. So we'll sew here a line, maybe go over the elastic area two times and sew here and then here and here and then we are done. I actually sew this part first. When it's one layer it's easier to sew and then I will sew it on top again so it looks nicer on the top like this one here. Now that's the finished product. I add one more line in the center on the top so it creates two separate pockets. It just keeps the whole thing flat better. And you can start putting your items in. Any way you want. I have a short straw. That's fine. And then you can roll it up. Now you can put this in your bag and carry it everywhere you go. Or you can place your markers and color pencils or just regular pencils and pen and use it as a pencil box. I hope you like this project. Thank you for watching and see you next time.